I, I will talk about polymers, but from the a little bit different perspectives. As I understand today, you are more talking about the research and how to make materials to become real, you know, and how to produce it from the different source instead of fossil fuels. What I will discuss today with you and what I will present is how we can use the biopolymers and make the real industry out of this, which is the big issue for the whole Europe. And uh, this is the case of the project that we acquired yeah, last year, uh, and the Ministry of Science is actually lead of this. I am the project, uh, pro project leader, and at the moment I'm employed by the Ministry of Economy, where I'm responsible to make innovations, find the path to make the innovation goes to the market. So uh, it, is, it was a big tender which was launched in the DG Enterprise. It was not launched by DG, uh, the DG Research. And it, it was about how to use clusters, how to use networking on the European level to support the development of emerging industry. What we put into the core was, can we use advanced polymer materials, advanced biopolymers to really use it as a source of emerging industry, which might be, and which probably it is, a bioeconomy. So what, what, what is the proposition here is, uh, what we are changing here is the source. It is not the fossil fuels, we are looking for the different biomass, how to use it for the production of the biopolymers. In the core of this is biorefinery, and as we know, this is a big issue now in the Europe, who will get the biorefinery, who will finance this, what kind of refinery we can have, and probably Europe will have only five biorefinery till the 2020, there will be some, smaller scale on the demonstration level. And you are all scientists and you all know that applications are very broad. They can go to the automotive sector, to the uh, aerospace sector, they can go to the food, they can go to the different, different many ways. And why bioeconomy is so important for Europe and also we have a question here if it is also important for Slovenia, it's about the jobs. About one million jobs supposed to be created by the 2030 only on the bioeconomy. There is a growth, the market which is estimated is supposed to be 200 billion euros and this will be happened in the next seven years. It is a climate, of course we're all fighting to find and to live in a normal environment and to go with the decline in the emission of the gases and it is about the new product, it is about the new energy. This is why Europe is interested in bioeconomy. And what, what is the issue here is, as we talked about is how to change the way the polymers are produced and used. This means it is not only the way how we will change the production system, it is about how we can link all other actors which are important from the industry into the new industry. And Europe is lagging behind, it's terribly lagging behind. US is taking the lead, Brazil is will become the first bioeconomy, probably bioeconomy industry in the world. China is progressing so amazing path that we can just looking. And what is our problem? And it is a problem in Slovenia, it is a problem in Europe. What we are doing, we are heavily investing in the new knowledge. We're investing and we do have knowledge, we do have technologies, we do have many, many things, but what do we not have is how to make the demonstrations and how to put the innovations into the market. And what is going on is that China and US are taking our knowledge and put it into the practice. So what does it mean? Yes, Europe is lagging behind. So what to do? We have many fragmented things in Europe which are not actually linked. It's about the chemical, forest, any uh, uh, energy system and farmers and agriculture. We do not link them. What we have to do is to link them to the system which will be combined with the different value chains with different actors. It is a big, big issue. And Europe is putting a lot of money into it. How to do it, on which ways, how the regions can interfere, what can be our role as a Slovenia, as a Italy, as Slovakia. I don't know how we can do it together. And I will be here on the case of Slovenia. What we have, we do have knowledge, we do have biomass, in particular in wood and uh, bio waste, uh, agriculture waste. We do have many years of research and development putting uh, resources into the research and new knowledge. We do have even some pilot line, we do even have some demonstration, we do even have some bio-based products and some of them are even demonstrated today. But, which is a little bit problematic is, industry is on the one way, SMEs are not included, clusters are not included, government is doing something, different ministries are doing different things and we are all, yes, let's have bioeconomy. Uh -uh. It's no way. 
if we will not put all these things together in one system, acting together, Slovenia has no chance to be part of a bioeconomy in Europe. Yeah, so Polyforeme is a project supported by European Commission because they believe that we know how to do it and that we have an idea how to do it. And yes, so wh what we put and what are we doing? We are trying to find a new policy ways, new policy mix, how to support different actors to come together. We try to find a way how to develop new value chains. And I will talk to you in the next, let's say, five minutes how we can do it and if you might join to this action. And it is about radical new business solutions. It is not solutions which are on the market now, it's on the solution that we have on the market tomorrow. And they are new, and why? Because they are new, they help to attract investments, they help to attract the foreign direct investment to Slovenia, they help to be paid to the international partnerships and new venture and markets. Slovenia invests heavily on so-called key enabling technologies, uh, what is the key now, how we can use this enabling technology to really serve the society. And we, what we try to do, and I just have a chance to discuss with Lucia and Daniela, how we can use smart specialization strategy to move forward on the bioeconomy. This is a chance for Slovenia, one of the rare, because we do have very limited money, very, really limited resources, but through the smart specialization, we might find a way to support development of bioindustry. And this is actually quite simple. What is smart specialization on bioeconomy? Is to go to biomass, make chemicals, go to the products, go to consumers, and try to be less and less dependent on the fossil fuels. Yeah, this is now the big issue, is how to speed up innovation. It's not only to talk about the grams in the laboratory prototype scales. It is about to start discussing kilos, tons, and megatons. And for this, we need bio refineries, right? And we need the knowledge and technologies. It is really about the ability if we are capable to do this. And how to smart invest smart resources that we can go to the pilot scale and demonstration and even to support the industrial production. This is possible and Europe strongly support this, so we need also national government, or regional government and international cooperation because I do not see how to find half a, bil a billion or a billion to make the biorefinery, but maybe as a macro region, maybe a chance we can get the pilot scale, we can do it, we can test it, we can be a test bed. I think this is possible. But, of course, what we need is companies. Research is not enough. What we need is companies. Companies who will really invest on this. And how we can speed up the innovations through the Polyforemi. Polyforemi is not a research project. It's about the, how to put clusters together, how to put new value chains together. From the existing clusters, let's say, starting with the automotive cluster, tooling cluster, wood cluster, uh, bioeconomy cluster, I don't know. Bring them together, make them discuss, put them together and make the new linkages and then through the cross-sectoral cooperation find a new way for the new value chains. It is about connecting. It is about connecting people actually. Yesterday we have a big, we have a peer review discussion with clusters from Bavaria, from Saxonia and two clusters from Austria. And Clusters from Flanders, okay. It was very, you know, from the Slovenian perspective, we asked them, oh, how you do it, how you do it, how you can agree, how you can do these things. It is about people. It's about people that do networking. It is a personal perspectives and personal ambitions. And it is about the companies in the region who are saying, yes, let's go to this direction. This is something that Slovenia still have to learn, but we believe that we can progress on this. Why this is good for the companies, you know? It's not something that we want to do for the society. Companies should see the opportunity, should see the money, should see the capital, how they will do this. Through common action, I would say, we can actually, they can better explore the opportunity. They can join the capabilities and validate their ideas, what they have. And why for this it is important for the companies is because they will see that this is the real investment of Europe, it is investment of Slovenia or it is investment of the region. 
And this is important for the companies because they are reducing the risk. They know that there will be customers there because the society will work on this, that the bioplastic, let's say, will be more acceptable. And we do not have the, such a plastic, we want to have this plastic. So every, it's a big and complicated issue. Uh, what we are offer as a polyforemi, for those coming from the region, it's uh, what I found really, really of a value added is, of course, let's discuss future trends together, put different regions with the different policies mixed together and figure out what is working for the emerging industry, what is working for the bio industry through the stress tests and peer reviews. This is something that we now know how to do it. We will be very ha happy to get other regions involved that we can enlarge our knowledge. Uh, we will create and we are creating brokerage platforms, which means that we will have different clusters from the different regions on the European level. Not, not on the Slovenian level, but on the European level. As I said, we already started the cooperation with Bavaria, with Saxonia and from Austria. We have some discussion already today how to do it with Italy. We are very happy, very open also for Africa, definitely. We have quite strong collaboration with Africa in the past. So I'm really, this is not just coming from the blue. We already have it, we would like to continue. Of course, focused workshops are very important to be focused what we really want to achieve. Which kind of value chains is the lingot cellulose, it's something else, I don't know, recycling, whatsoever. This is something that the region has to put in place where, really, where, where we are strong, where we have resources. And we will also provide some voucher schemes for those companies, for those value chains that will be, which will really show the potential. Uh, yeah, so in next month, we are expecting to have these future trends and forecast will be ready by the end of October and then it will be the right place to start discussion with the companies, in particular with SMEs, particularly with entrepreneurs, because we need them, that we will come together to a so-called regional strategy, because we need the strategy, we need the vision, we need the action plan, that as a government we can offer the right policy mix. It's not something, oh, let's put only on the research, no, no. We need to figure out how we link these pilot plans and demonstration, even maybe flagships, into the whole picture. It is important, it is quite a complicated task to have them the right programs and the right action plans with the involvement in the companies and with the capital which will be invested into the action. As I said, we we're very open. We do not have a lot of answers right now. We have a path, we do have an action plan how to do. The project is led by the Ministry of Science. We are very proud on this. This shows that there is a dedication attitude of the Ministry of Science and Research to really invest into this. We do have partner Polymat, we do have Chamber of Commerce, we do have automotive clusters, which is one of the major users of biopolymers on the global scale at the moment, but not at automotive clusters, we the automotive sector as whole. And our friends from Austria, competence center from Leoban, focused on polymers. As I mentioned before, this is already our new partners, and we are happy because they're much more advanced than Slovenia and Slovenian clusters, but there are several topics that we talk to them and we can enlarge our collaboration. Uh, I do have two Colleagues with me today, it's Daria Radic. She is a contact point for, you can sign the letter of support, you can think about, you can, if you can proceed, you can go to our webpage. Oh, it's not really operating, but what we have is a flyer with some more information about the polyforemi and Alexis Rimac, who is an expert for the value chains. So we are here, we, you will have our contacts and thank you for giving me this opportunity to talk to you today. Thank you. Thank you.